police says four people have come forward to report assaults that happened during demonstrations at the B.C. legislature Tuesday. Three of them receiving minor injuries. The fourth wasn't seriously hurt, but some equipment they were carrying appears to be damaged. B.C. Premier John Horgan addressing Tuesday's demonstrations for the very first time on Wednesday. I believe that dissent is important in a democratic society, but that dissent has to be in a way and in, in a manner that, that allows people to go about their business. But that's not the only thing frustrating the Premier. He's not impressed with online comments from a public figure in B.C.'s capital city. Tensions began online Tuesday evening after Victoria Police tweeted this out from their account. They were looking for witnesses and victims to come forward as they were investigating possible reports of staff and others being injured during the blockade Tuesday at the BC legislature. But that tweet received some backlash from one Victoria City councillor. Is it saying, I was there all day observing interactions between the public and legislative officials. This allegation is hogwash designed to discredit Indigenous youth and their supporters. Vic PD's mandate is to ensure public safety, not spread fake news. Victoria's police chief calls the comments, quote, off base and disrespectful, saying, we are asking victims to step forward if they were assaulted during the protest. Our mandate is public safety. Please let us do our job. As it's saying in another tweet, Vic PD is engaging in a PR campaign against peaceful demonstrators, city councillors and advocates of change. My thoughts on that individual are not uh, printable. Uh, I will say that I spoke with Mayor Helps today uh, and uh, assured her that uh, I do not view the city council in Victoria as uh, a mere image of Mr. Isaac. Uh, he uh, will carry on living his life the way he does and uh, we'll have to reckon with that. Victoria Police is standing by its appeal to the public asking anyone with information about these four assaults or any others to come forward. In Vancouver, I'm Isabel Regem for City News. For months now,